everybody, what's going on? Hello, Clarity community. You know me. I'm Ross Herosian. I am the founder, CEO of Tricycle Creative, but you know that already. What you're here for is something maybe you don't know. What is that? Well, it's the huge, epic, possibly the biggest update that Google has pushed to mobile search engine results page. Now, for those of you who want to get fancy, and when you talk to other people, search engine results page is also known as SERP. And it is what comes up when you do the search. It's very cleverly named for exactly what it is. And this update, Google, I feel like, kind of quietly rolled it out. So, are you ready? That. Are you ready? You're ready. Okay, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly what this update is all about. It's not this, I don't know why. This is so weird. I have, we're looking at my phone screen here. I have internet. I don't know why I keep saying something went wrong. So that may be a downside of an update that Google's doing. Um, but here's what it is. Now, it may appear subtle and you might have even experienced this update, but when I now show it to you or share it with you, I think it might blow your mind. It blew my mind a little, particularly as someone who works in SEO. All right, so let's do a Google search and I'm gonna show you this huge, massive update. All right, now for those of you who don't know, I am, uh, these are not my searches. You should also know this. This is what Google thinks I'd be into. I didn't know what you might be thinking. Oh, the Star Wars Lego, Lego collectors. Okay, we'll look at that later. Okay. Um, I'm recently gluten-free. It uh, is not that hard as far as other diets go, but, you know, I don't know, man. I'm loving a good sourdough right now. And going into Thanksgiving, I can't have stuffing. This is the pits. Okay, so let's make it about me. Not everything has to be, but let's do it. Let's look for gluten-free restaurants, Austin. Tap that bad boy. All right, now, on mobile, you get a pretty typical SERP, search engine results page breakout, where it starts with the map, and then below it, so for example, this Wilderwood and Picnic and Zucchini Kill Bakery, these are fed in through Google My Business, if you didn't know that already. Then you would potentially maybe have ads, but right now what we're looking at are the top results from Austin Eater, findmeglutenfree.com, that kind of thing. Then we're going into a carousel of being able to order food, again, brought in through Google My Business. Photos, uh, again, brought in through Google My Business. So are you getting the... Okay, second takeaway. If you're not on Google My Business, you need to... Like, that's something you can do today. Go do that. Okay. And that, and that. Okay. Then we can do refined search. But I'm going to keep, okay, let's keep looking here. Oh, broaden this search. Hottest restaurant in Austin. I don't know if that's temperature or popularity. We're looking at 10 free gluten-free restaurants in Austin. 13 best gluten-free ops. I'm going to stop right here. Have you noticed the update? I just showed you the update, but did you notice it? It's okay if you didn't, because it is subtle, but I'm gonna tell you, it is huge once you see it and once you recognize it. They removed pagination from search on mobile. What does that mean? When you get to the bottom of page one, it doesn't say, oh, go to page two or page three or page four. This is an endless scroll of results. Okay, yeah, okay, I gotta see more. But what I'm not getting is page two, page three, page four of search. Subtle, right? But now that you see it, do you understand maybe how huge this is? this is anything off of page one I think you can probably understand and appreciate it oftentimes comes with a little bit of a stigma 
It's not on page one. Ugh. Page two. When was the last time you clicked even past page two on something? I don't, I couldn't even remember. Or went past page two. Well, chances are in this scrolling that we've just done, we're probably on page two or three. This is huge. If you are doing SEO for your small business, because the behavior has been kind of like in our head where it's like, okay, this is how I operate. And I think it's probably how most people operate. Once you get to the bottom of page one, if you haven't found what you're searching for or what you're looking for, you do a new search. Let me do a new search. This instead is bringing up options, which to be fair, could be very valid and strong competitors if they're on page two. Right now we're starting to get a little bit wonky here, right? I mean, some of these, we get into some ads like, you know, yellowpages.com. Those are always going to kind of pop up, but, but you know, we're probably into page three or four here results, but this is huge. It has removed the stigma. If you're struggling to get on that first page and maybe you're crawling your way up and you're on page two, well, guess what? you now have a much better chance of appearing in search. That's huge. And from a user perspective, right? I don't even notice. Now I know like, okay, we've gone pretty deep in this scroll, but I mean, the first page typically just has 10 results. Now I wanna do another example. I wanna show you something that's important. I'm going to do uh, gluten free. We're going to keep it gluten free. Gluten free, baby. If you're gluten free, if you're into gluten free, you can tell me in the comments. Love gluten free. No one's going to say that. Gluten free pizza dough. That's my dog. If you heard that, maybe you didn't. Pizza dough. Let's say recipe. Okay. All right. Now I did this because you snuck up on me, Ellie. I did this because I wanted to show you, okay, we still have, you know, okay, you can buy it. So these are the, the kind of the shopping carousel here, recipes, links, visual stories. Oh, that's interesting. Another, this is really interesting. So, and this isn't, now this is an ad carousel but it's another ad carousel. So, I mean, that's a pretty quick scroll. Let's do like a typical scroll here. I mean, I'm pretty close to hitting that ad carousel twice. So this is also very valuable, just so you understand. This can be valuable, and I'm sure it is valuable to Google, to increase ad inventory. Because if you don't realize that you're gonna go to page two, they're gonna be able to put ads in front of you just like we saw here, the second ad carousel. This removes the page two plus stigma. Page two plus stigma is gone when it comes to mobile, okay? The other thing I wanna show you here is, okay, now we start to get into video results. I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't find its way up higher, but this, you know, mobile as with any search is going to implement all the various different types of formats. So you have a good chance. Oh, this is a video. So that's, that's one that was higher up, right? So this is freaking awesome. And just in case you were wondering, this also works. So that was in the Google app. But if we come over here to Chrome and do gluten free, I'll do restaurants in Austin because it's already there. It's going to be similar, but it also, this is not just in the Google app. You notice how it's just auto refreshing as you scroll. So this is, I like might be oh, subtle and small and you might have even experienced this and not even noticed, but this is huge. This is great news for, of course, the small business solopreneur who's struggling to work their way up 
This is gonna open up a lot more opportunity for you to get into search engine results. And for those of you out there who you know are doing that SEO, um, this is also really good. And for those of you doing uh, Google Ads, also good because now Google has more ad inventory. Because if I'm gonna keep scrolling, let's see if I get another ad thing here. It wasn't on this one, it was on the other pizza one. I'm actually kind of surprised there are no ads in this one, but you know, it's able to put ads in front of you multiple times. Every time it kind of refreshes, think of that. I don't know if it's perfect, but think of that as like, okay, that's a new page. Actually, I kind of don't want you to think like that. I just want you to think, look for the result. But the fact that now, again, when you get to the bottom, instead of being, oh, I'm at the bottom of page one, I'm going to restart my search. You're going to be like, oh, it's going to just fill. I'm going to keep looking. This is huge, 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 huge. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you found this to uh, be huge, I'd love for you to comment huge in the video. Um, and let me know if there are other videos that you're interested in in the comments. And of course, this is your first time here, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. I hope that you can now go forth into your SEO work and be motivated. Oh my God, I now have so much more opportunity. And if you're a small business owner, oh my God, like this is so, this is, this is a very good move. This is a tip of the cap applaud. I think I have an applause. Hold on. <laughs> what, what? For Google. So great move. I hope this helped. Hope you like it. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, comment. Um, and until next time, I encourage you to keep pedaling.